so this afternoon I'm going to take kid over this obstacle and this is pretty neat um, we call it the uh, tire teeter totter and it's kind of a short teeter totter and when they step on one end it kind of pops up like that but it's basically just a plank that's over this tire right here but it makes a little bit of noise and it pops and and when they step on it, it's got a little bit of give on there really neat obstacle I love it because it introduces our horses to being able to step on odd places where their footing isn't exactly secure and we want to make sure that even if their footing isn't exactly secure that they're calm they're relaxed that they're doing okay with it so before I take him over this though I want to make sure that kid is comfortable just going over a bridge so I'll take him over to a regular bridge and then we'll come over to this and get him uh, pretty comfortable with that so I've got this simple bridge here and I'm gonna start with just sending him over this bridge I'm gonna put a little bit of pressure with him with my steady stick to encourage him to put a foot up there awesome good I love that and now I'm actually going to retreat him away from the bridge let him know that he did a good job he made some really good choices in stepping up there again most people the moment they get a foot on that bridge they are super excited that they got a foot on that bridge and so they're going to take their horse totally over the obstacle and i want to discourage that because i want him to take his time and to wait for me to cue him before he goes forward because i want him to execute this obstacle in a safe manner so i'm going to ask him again we'll put one foot two feet i'm going to see if i can get him to step up just a little bit more very nice i like that he's thinking forward he's licking and chewing here he seems pretty comfortable and relaxed i'm going to go ahead now and back him off good boy now this next time that i bring him on the bridge i'm going to let him sit there for a moment i'm going to rub and love on him let him know he's made some really good decisions and let him know that where he when he goes to where i point for him to go that he's not going to have to be working he's not going to have to worry about things that this is a safe place for him to be so i'm going to go ahead and ask him again here good boy i'm going to get those back legs on here now there good boy so you see he's going forward i'm going to hold him i don't want him to make that decision on his own i want him to wait until i ask him to move forward so now I'm going to rub and love on him for a little bit, let him know that he's made a good decision by standing up here nice and quiet, but I'm going to retreat him off of the obstacle here. Oh, he stepped off of there nice and quiet. I love that. I'm going to go ahead and take my steady stick and give him a rub all over his body, let him know that he's made some really good choices here. Good pony. Good job, Mr. Kid. And so now this time, I'm going to go ahead and take him up here, take some nice big deep breaths. I'm going to stop him. Oh, I like that. Good. He took a nice big deep breath there. I'm going to give him the opportunity to walk forward. But if he does, I'm going to correct him and say, no, nope, not yet. I haven't quite asked you to do that yet. So I'm just going to let him hang out there. Again, getting comfortable with maybe the front legs on there but the back legs hanging off or maybe the front legs coming off but the back legs hanging on i don't want my pony in a rush because when i ride him over obstacles i want him to take his time and be very purposeful and intentional about where he's placing his feet so that we don't get into trouble and get hung up or into a foot trap so now i'm going to go ahead and take him through and nice and slow i'm going to stop him with just the back legs on there oh that was nice very nice and quiet and now i'll let the rest of my pony come on off the bridge there oh good boy mr kid that was a good job 